What's up, Algebra 1, Part A? So this is week 9. We're like almost halfway done with the semester. Next week, you'll have a fall break, so please take some time to enjoy your life and not think about math and whatnot. But for this week, think a little bit about math, but not tons, uh, except when you take your tests and then try really hard. Um, the reality is uh, I've made a couple changes to the syllabus, so I want to talk about that. And then I'll just talk about the assignments, and that's it. So um, I got rid of my Facebook. It's not on there anymore. I'm just not the type of person who's going to use Facebook all that much, and I felt it was unfair of me to uh, say that I was going to use it and post it here like it was a great way to contact me when I would never use it. Uh, I don't think you are a bad person if you use Facebook or something. It's just it was another thing I'd have to log into, and I just never did. And I felt really bad because a parent emailed me or messaged me through it once. I didn't respond back very quickly because I just didn't check it for days at a time, and I felt that was uh, sort of unfair of me to do. Uh, I was I didn't really particularly want to do it in the first place, but it was kind of indicated that it was probably a good idea because some of you have one, but I don't have one. I don't have a personal one either, if that makes you feel any better. Um, I'm just not the type of person who would use it. So it's not a huge part of my life. I had no interest in making any part of my life. So I have a couple other ways for you to reach me that I do already have integrated into my life in some way. My Google Plus, uh, I've updated the name because I updated the name to match. I linked my YouTube channel and my Google Plus are basically the same thing. They're all based off of my other work email, one, my other other work email, the one where I do a lot of my uh, side projects and stuff, which is uh, lame E, spelled phonetically, so L-A-M-E-E -E, at Outlook.com. So my Google Plus is linked to that, so is my YouTube channel. So it's really easy for me to interact with Google Plus. Plus, I like looking at pretty pictures, and you can have higher res uh, photos and stuff. And I just like how Google Plus looks, quite honestly. It's just a product I use. It's easy to integrate with something I already use pretty much every day, which is my channel. So I had the channel for like two years before I worked for Tops. So it is what it is. It's a big part of my life. Google, Facebook is not. Um, I have a Twitter that I've sort of resurrected from the dead, and I'm going to fiddle stuff there. I'm starting to upload video uh, and, you know, tweets and posts and stuff about the fact that I have videos up. These announcements will be on there. Anyway, it is what it is. Skype's there as well. Usually my Skype thing is more of a uh, we have office hours and you're like, can you help me with this? And I, it's hard to explain in a chat scenario, so I'll say, hey, let's go on Skype and I have a little addition to it that can let me make a whiteboard, which is pretty cool, actually. Uh, also, office hours, 1 to 3, uh, that would be Eastern Time, uh, although the central time zone is central to my heart. Uh, I'm in Eastern Time Zone, so I tend to use those numbers, but uh, uh, that'd be 12 to 2 for you Central folk. And uh, Wednesday night from 7 to 8, uh, we're supposed to use the chat that comes through Canvas, but I find it cumbersome and annoying. So instead, I will have Google Talk open. So through the uh, at Tennessee Online Public School org, you have a Tennessee Online uh, email as well. So you haven't been checking that. It might be time to get around to it. But um, it's a great way to interact. And I talk with people there all the time. Oftentimes I'm on anyway, even if I'm not, uh, it's not office hours. So if you're just check it occasionally, look. Another nice thing is that uh, if I'm not, if, I, if it's office hours and it's not, it says, well, he's not there. It doesn't mean I'm not there. It means I'm an idiot who forgot to click on things. I'm not a jerk. I'm just clueless in many ways in terms of like clicking on buttons and stuff. So occasionally I won't turn it on. So just message me and I'm like, oh, stupid. I've got to turn it on. Uh, and then occasionally you'll catch me and I'll be on and I've just forgotten to turn it off. So I'll actually be in my car and you'll be talking to me via my phone. And I'm trying to think, oh, what does that look like on the paper? But anyway, I'll usually tell you just to wait a few minutes and I'll be around to it. So that's it. Those are the changes as far as that's concerned. Let's look at the modules. First off, I added another link to modules here because this one over here obviously isn't getting it done. I don't know why. But uh, go to the modules and it's posted to the to-do list. The to-do list is very dangerous. It didn't list a discussion from last week and it was a required discussion. Not week 8, week 7. I'm still in week 8 as I make this, so I guess two weeks ago. So make sure you go through the module. A lot of people are like, well, how come I can't get to this? Because well, you never open the announcements because you're going to the to-do list instead of going to the modules. I've said the modules thing before, but you know, why not beat a dead horse? So um, you click on this. And 10 years from now, it'll eventually flip over to where it'll get to the uh, the modules. Um, graded discussion for this week is math related. It's not super difficult, I don't think. I think it's more um, just kind of a nice mathy one to sort of get that feel back right before you take a week off, or you don't have to think about math. Um, the test three review is here. Uh, that's the review is not required. Um, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. I think I have a video of me doing some of the problems that I might load to YouTube and post. 
So if you're interested in that, it'll be up on uh, hopefully today, maybe, uh, before you even have to see it. But it's there for you. you. Just click on it and open it. This key is connected to the back of it. So if you have any questions about the questions before you take the test, please ask them. Uh, you get one shot at the test, so be very careful. And uh, don't wait until Friday to take the test. Take it earlier in the week. Uh, make sure you check in to the discussion board a couple times throughout the week. Don't be one of those Saturday night, Sunday night people because I don't get around to those people very much. And nobody does either, so your grades are going to suffer. And if you don't pass through Part A, you can't take the end of course test this semester. And it's the last year to take it. And after this, it would be Common Core, which is much more complicated, and you'd rather get one out of the way now, I think. Uh, the last thing is to take Test 3. And if it doesn't take 10 years to load, um, I'm actually doing test three the same way I did the benchmarks in the sense that uh, you have to go through power school to get it. So if you didn't do your benchmarks, ha ha ha, you thought you'd get around going to it. But this one counts for a big grade. And from now on, benchmarks are going to count for a grade as well. But as far as this is concerned, um, we have uh, this grade is going to count as a test grade. So be sort of smart about how you choose to set things up and whatnot. Um, as a link to Power Teacher right there, you're going to go to SchoolNet. Yours will look similar to this, but not exactly. It'll have a little button that says SchoolNet somewhere once you log into PowerSchool. If you don't have your login for PowerSchool, you need to uh, email Miss Whedon very early on in the week. Uh, and she'll be mad, like, why didn't you answer my email that said, did you not get the piece of paper, or did you not get the piece of paper? So she'll guilt trip you a little bit, but, you know, that's her prerogative and probably her right. Anyway, once you get into SchoolNet, there'll be a little box on the left in the corner somewhere that lets you plug in uh, the test code. The test code for this one is testing one, two, three. So make sure you just copy and paste that in there and it should open the test up for you. The test is, uh, I put a four hour time limit on it because I wasn't sure how long it would take. It's about 50 questions. Some of them are solving equations questions with multiple steps. So it's kind of long. Um, there is a, in the top right corner, there is a scientific and graphing calculator. I might even add like a little bit of a, a picture of what that looks like. But if you go and put it into the top right corner, uh, it'll say it'll have a little figure drawing or whatever there. And there should be a uh, section where you can pull down a graphing calculator or scientific. They're not great. So if you have a TI-84, use those. Just FYI. But if you don't have it or you have something else that you like better, that's fine too. I'm trying to work out a way to where when you take the end of course test, you will have access to a TI-84 plus because it's what I've taught on all semester. If you don't have one and you you know, sort of get around to it, you know, Christmas is coming up, and I don't want to make you ask for math junk for Christmas, but it's a pretty good investment for a freshman if you're going to stay in tops because uh, we tend to move in that direction, and Park will have a calculator that'll be just like the T84 Plus according to all their literature. Those are the people who make the uh, new tests that they're going to make. Um, you'll get one shot at the test, so Make sure you're in a time and place where the internet's going to be solid. You're not doing it via your iPad or some other nonsense. Do it on your computer. Take the time to do it. Write things down. Uh, I looked at the benchmarks, and for the ones of you who I thought really focused on it, some of you did really well, by the way. Um, but for others that didn't do so well that probably should have, a lot of it was just careless stuff. You didn't pay attention to negatives and whatever. So pay attention to those things. They're important. They mean the difference between passing and failing in many cases. And... Uh, you know, as we move forward, a lot of our tests will be done do via SchoolNet because it matches the end of course much closer than the tests I've been giving you before. And plus, it doesn't have this glitchy stuff where uh, greater than sign becomes an ampersand or whatever uh, that the other test version does. But it is what it is. Uh, good luck on your test. Uh, that's how it all kind of shakes out for this week. Also, um, have fun on your fall break, but be very careful. Make sure you don't do unsafe things. Um, you know, that are so unsafe that they're not controlled. I mean, like if you're going bungee jumping or skydiving or whatever, you know, make sure it's a certified professional and na na na. But uh, make sure you make it back after fall break. We'd miss you if you were gone. And, uh, you know, have fun. And don't think that much about math. I will have something pop up in the announcements sometime in the middle of the week about uh, what assignments you could make up. And uh, the plan, by the way, was to grade this week. My kids, uh, one of them especially, got a pretty serious stomach virus over the last couple of days or last day or so. So I've been busy cleaning up disgusting yuck that I won't go into any more further detail about. But uh, uh, hopefully this week I can really focus on it because I've made all my stuff for regular school too. Anyway, um, that's it, I think. So uh, have fun on fall break. Cool stuff coming up in the second half of the semester. So make it back uh, nice and safe. And, you know, see you guys.